point in time did you occupy an office in the uh, city of Derby? Yes. And what was that office? Finance office. And did you have a, a title per se? Director of Finance of the city of Derby. Prior to that, oh, by the way, when did, when, did you, when, when did you receive your appointment to the Director of Finance? Well, the Alderman uh, um, nominated or approved me on October 23rd, 2008. And I took over office on the November 17, 2008, Monday. What was the date? Uh, November 17, 2008. Okay. Prior to assuming the uh, position of director, of the office of director of finance, had you served in any other capacities in the city of Derby? No, the, on the board of personal taxation for 16 years, chairman for 14 years, uh, WPCA before that. Does, it, does, the, uh, does the director or does the board of apportionment and taxation, uh, are, are, they, are you also a director of, let me withdraw that, as the um, director of finance, are you not also on the board of apportionment and taxation? No, I, I report, report to them monthly. Report to them monthly. Is that the board that you mostly deal with? Correct, their fiscal authority for the city jury. And that's what you did for 16 years before becoming director of finance. Correct. Now, just so we have this uh, out on the record here, uh, did you go to college, Mr. Domeron? Yes, I did. And did you graduate with a BA? Yes, I did. And did, what was the BA in? Chemistry. And did you then uh, pursue any uh, master's degrees? I have a master's in science degree in chemistry also. I also have uh, credits towards the MBA. How many credits do you have? Approximately 18. Now you heard Mr. Stafari say that at some point, uh, I guess the suggestion is prior to him recommending your appointment, that you and he had a discussion and you promised to get certified, in his words, in uh, business management of some kind. Did that ever happen? No, we, we did talk about becoming uh, certified, becoming a business manager for the Board of Education. That would be for the Board of Education. Correct. At one point, they had thought to combine the position of finance director for the city Derby and the business manager for the uh, Board of Education. Uh, and under the, uh, under the state statutes, does the Board of Education finance director have to have a certification from the State Department of Ed? Yes. But not as a municipal director of finance? No. And that never came to fruition either, that you had to, that there was going to be the combined position. You know, I talked to the, uh, uh, Dr. Tracy about that uh, when the business manager resigned in October of 2011. And Tell us who Dr. Tracy is. He's superintendent of schools. In he Derby. was the superintendent of schools. And he was not interested in having a combined position. Okay. Uh, the other part of the equation is that uh, based on my experience as director of finance, I did qualify to become certified as a business manager for the school system. You need three years experience and to be recommended by the superintendent of schools. So you would actually be certifiable for the business director of the school district, right? Um, and Mr. Dalmarad, um, I'm going to ask you to uh, uh, think back to September or October of 2008. And actually, uh, let me withdraw that question, Your Honor, if I may. Um, uh, Mr. Damarad, this uh, document, which is Defendant's Exhibit A, um, do you recognize that document at this point? I recognize it based on the fact that I saw it in the Daily Independent Sentinel on April 13th of 2012. That would be the day after you had this meeting with the mayor? Correct. Um, I'm not quite sure I understood that answer. I'm trying to sure. Straight sure. Um, let me back up a little bit. Um, on April 12th, 2012, were you summoned into the office of the mayor? For yes, some I was. purpose. 
had 20 to 5, uh, Mr. Robertson came in and said the mayor was going to be back from Hartford and he wanted to meet with me. Okay. And uh, did you meet with him? That's correct. I did. And what, how long did that meeting last? Oh, about five minutes. And um, what did he say to you? Basically that I was not working out and that my contract not being renewed, that he wanted me to clean my office and turn my keys to the city. Oh. And did you have a response to that? Yes, I did. I responded that, uh, one, I needed in writing, two, that I expected uh, six month notice completion payment in the, as a clause and on use of time, and that uh, for the charter uh, and ordinance, he did not have the power to fire me or the old one did. Okay. Now, this uh, meeting um, 